Many people claim Muhammad was a prophet of peace who taught peace. The best way to determine whether or not that is true is to look at what Muhammad himself said in hadiths or reports about his words and deeds that Muslims consider reliable. Muhammad said, I have been commanded to fight against people until they testify that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. There is a threat attached in another version of that hadith which has Muhammad saying, I have been ordered to fight the people till they say, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And if they say so, pray like our prayers, face our qibla, that is the direction for prayer, and slaughter as we slaughter, then their blood and property will be sacred to us and we will not interfere with them except legally. Their blood and property will be sacred to us, that is, left undisturbed, instead of being killed and their property seized. Muhammad said, striving in the path of Allah, that is jihad, is incumbent on you, along with every ruler, whether he is pious or impious. He also said, know that paradise is under the shades of swords. Muhammad said, fight in the name of Allah and in the way of Allah, Fight against those who disbelieve in Allah. Make a holy war. When you meet your enemies who are polytheists, invite them to three courses of action. If they respond to any one of these, you also accept it and withhold yourself from doing them any harm. Invite them to accept Islam. If they respond to you, accept it from them and desist from fighting against them. If they refuse to accept Islam, demand from them the jizya. If they agree to pay, accept it from them and hold off your hands. If they refuse to pay the tax, Seek Allah's help and fight them. Muhammad said, the hour will not be established until you fight with the Jews and the stone behind which a Jew will be hiding will say, O oh Muslim, there is a Jew hiding behind me. Come and kill him. Muhammad said, he who fights that Allah's word, Islam, should be superior, fights in Allah's cause. He said, the person who participates in holy battles in Allah's cause and nothing compels him to do so except belief in Allah and his apostle will be recompensed by Allah either with a reward or booty if he survives or will be admitted to paradise if he is killed. Muhammad said, I have been made victorious with terror. Muhammad was asked whether it was permissible to attack enemy forces at night if it would endanger their women and children. He replied, they are from them, that is, the women and children are of the enemy, so it's permissible to kill them. Muhammad said, three things are the roots of faith, to refrain from killing a person who utters, there is no God but Allah, and not to declare him unbeliever, whatever sin he commits, and not to excommunicate him from Islam for any of his actions. And jihad will be performed continuously since the day Allah sent me as a prophet, until the day the last member of my community will fight with the Dajjal, that is the Islamic idea of the Antichrist. Muhammad said, I decided to order a man to lead the prayer and then take a flame to burn all those who had not left their houses for the prayer, burning them alive inside their homes. Muhammad said, kill any Jew who falls under your power. Muhammad also said, killing unbelievers is a small matter to us. Now remember, Muhammad is the excellent example for Muslims to imitate, according to the Quran. And we see in all the violence Muslims are today perpetrating worldwide, that indeed very many Muslims are imitating Muhammad. For more information about this, see this website.